Welcome back to another One of Everything Wednesdays. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we have the Hooded Goblin, located in Georgetown, Ontario. They have their own website here. It'll be linked below in the description. Um, so I went in there and picked up, uh, you know, one of every pack they had available uh, from open booster boxes and that kind of stuff. So we've got a little bit of everything. We'll show off what we've got here. We got a little bit of Theros, Born of the Gods, Battle for Zendikar, Oath of the Gatewatch, Shadows Over Innistrad, Eldritch Moon, Kaladesh, Ether Revolt, Modern Masters 2017, and Amonkhet. So we're gonna get started with newest first, as is tradition with these videos. Let's start with newest first and work our way backwards. What kind of cool things can we find? We got an invocation? No invocation. That's too bad. Nest of Scarabs is our first uncommon for Mom and Ket. Destined to lead. Gravedigger. And our rare? Hey, a Drake Haven. It's not a bad little pull. It's a couple bucks. Very, very good card. Very good card. I'm very, very stoked to see this play out in Limited. I myself haven't had a chance to play with it in Limited, but it seems very, very good. And we got a full art forest. Not a bad little haul from there, but we did see now we got an ad. I really wish that they would stop with the ads. I really wish they would stop with the ads. But, uh, you know, what can one, what can one man do, right? How can I convince them? Okay. No spell pierce in the common slot in Modern Masters 2017. Azorius Signet. Intangible Virtue. Bailoth Cage Trap. And our rare is a Mind Shatter. Nothing crazy, nothing interesting to write home about or anything like that. Um, we got a Foil Grasp of Phantoms. That Foil Grasp of Phantoms will go right into my grab bag box. And if you don't know what the grab bag boxes are, or the grab bags are, I should say, you should check out my video explaining exactly what they are here on YouTube. Um, also, I am doing a thing now where I'm taking anything of note, basically, from my One of Everything series that I open each month. And I'm putting it aside to do giveaways for my patrons. So if you're interested in possibly getting some of the cool stuff I open in these series, check out my Patreon. All you got to do is $5 or more. I mean, that's any of the tiers that are over $5 that are MTG related will get you entered to win. So if you haven't seen the previous video, I just uploaded it um, a little while ago. Um, it shows I gave out four cards to four of my six patrons. So there you go. Four of my six, four of my seven. Four of my seven because I rounded up. That's right. So we've got... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No masterpiece from Ether Revolt from this. Salvage Scuttler, Dead Eye Harpooner, Perilous Predicament, and our rare is an Ether Tide Whale. There it is. Nothing crazy there either. We got a servo and a regular forest. No foil in this pack either. Decoction module. Hazardous conditions. Elegant edge crafters. And our rare. Hey, a spire bluff canal. All right, nice little uh, dual land or what is this? Fast land? Yeah. It's a fast land, right? Comes into the battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer. Yeah. That's what I think that's what they were calling them, right? Very nice. That'll go into the giveaway pile. That's pretty sweet. 
We got an island and a Thopter token. Okay, we're on to Eldritch Moon now. What else we got going on? No foil or anything in this one. Lunar Force is our first uncommon. Ride Down. Drog School Shield Mate. And, hey, we got our first Mythic out of this run. That's pretty good. Nahiri's Wrath. Not like a crazy Mythic, nothing to be crazy super stoked about, but something cool to put in the giveaway, so that's pretty nice. And we got a Midnight Scavenger as our flip card. One of those big honking flips into two, flips into a giant double-sided card. And we got an Eldritch Horror token and a Checklist card. Shadows over Innistrad is next. Just keep plowing away. The Hooded Goblin is a very small shop. It was, uh... Quite a bit smaller than I was expecting it to be. However, I was very impressed to see that when I went in, there was like a bunch of people in there playing. Considering how little space they have, they definitely still accommodate their players, which is nice. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we got either a foil or an extra rare, because that's how these packs worked. So, uh, guess is bidding. Wild Field Scarecrow. Morkrut Necropod. Hey, a choked estuary. Nice. So this is a, another one of the um, tap lands, only it's from Innistrad instead of uh, Kaladesh. That's pretty nice. That'll go in the giveaway pile as well. That's pretty sweet. We got a convicted killer and foil or flip card. Maybe a foil flip card. Foil uh, Gisela. Right? She's the one from this set? Or, or am I thinking Avison? Foil Avison? Hey, it's a Westvale Abbey. That's still not too shabby. Definitely worth a couple bucks still, I think. Flips into Ormondal. Gigantic 9-7 flying lifelink indestructible haste creature. Pretty cool. That'll go in the giveaway pile. That's pretty nice. We got a spirit token and uh, another checklist card. So far... Pretty decent pulls out of these little packs. Not bad. I mean, some of them were, like, I mean, the Modern Masters was a little disappointing. But, I mean, hey, whatever. No expedition in this pack for us, unfortunately. Uh, Harvester Troll. Walker of the Wastes. Thought Harvester. And our rare... Dimensional Infiltrator. But we got a full art swamp, so we'll put that up there with the full art forest. And an Eldrazi Scion token. Alright, we're on to battle for Zendikar now. Ooh, nine. There's a foil in this pack. Stasis Snare, I don't know if this is still worth anything, but uh, probably, uh, probably not. But Scythe Leopard. Tide Drifter. And our rare is a Blight Herder. Alright. Do we think it's an expedition? Should I take a peek? Let me take a peek. Unfortunately, it's only a Transgarce the Mind. Ooh, that's actually not a bad little foil. The foiling on that is so cool. You can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like the fingers coming out through his mouth. Are foiled. Super cool looking. Super neat. So that will go possibly in the giveaway to my patrons. And if not, it'll go right into the foil box of my uh, grab bags. So there you go. So it'll go in one of those two places. All right. Born of the Gods next. No foil for us. I think we're looking for a, a god. We need a we need one of the gods. I think this set is all about the gods. Archetype of aggression. I remember when Searing Blood was like a two dollar uncommon, three dollar uncommon. Seems like nothing now compared to like Fatal Push, right? Which is like a six or seven dollar uncommon still. Ridiculous. Fanatic of Xenagos and our rare Faded Infatuation. They made a faded card of all the colors in this set. And we got a forest. And a junk card. Toss. Throw away the ads. No one likes ads. Theros. 
So uh, this pack, we're looking for... Uh, oh my god, look at this. Just rip it to shreds, why don't I? To shreds, you say. No foil. No foil in here. Sea God's Revenge, man, I remember when that card... That card was so, so good and limited. Tormented Hero. Shipwreck Singer was also friggin' amazing and, and limited. Wow, this card was so good. Hey, we got a whip. All right. Whip's probably a couple bucks. So there you go. That'll probably go in my patron giveaway pile as well. Nice. And we got a mountain and another ad card. Bra Toss. So that was one of everything from the Hooded Goblin. Again, their website will be linked below in the description. So if you want to go check them out, go check them out. Um, I know if you're not, you know, like if you're not from Ontario, Canada, then it's going to be hard for you to check out the stores and stuff. But if you are from around here, definitely give them a look. Check them out. Pretty nice little shop. People there were really friendly. They uh, they seemed really nice. I had the first time in there, so it was great. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. I'd really appreciate it. I have been your host, Mr. Bevers. And as always, guys, may your pulls ever be better.